Hey folks, it's Ray of DCRamRecord.com here, and today I've got a quick tip on a new firmware update available for the Wahoo Rival, which gives it music controls, allowing you to control the music on your phone. Now to be super clear here, there's no music storage on the Wahoo Rival itself. There's not the capacity for that. It's never gonna get that. Uh, that's like a hardware limitation sort of thing, but it can control your phone. And at the moment, this first version right now will allow you to control on iOS. Wahoo does say the next firmware or some of the firmware pretty soon will have it rolled out for Android as well. Now using it is super simple. All you need is a music app on your phone that is supported through the lock screen. Meaning if I were to go ahead and lock my phone right here and power it back on again, you'll see it shows up right there. That means it's on the lock screen and that means that Wahoo can control it. Just to give a quick tour of what's available on the watch uh, from a music control standpoint. Uh, the first thing is the music controls are accessible just like any other data page. So you use these bottom two buttons right there to iterate through them. Uh, so you can see now I'm back to like sport data pages, keep on going, I'll get back to the time screen. It's really as easy as that. And this screen will only show up when you have a music control of the app that's open. Uh, so it shouldn't otherwise be there when you're not playing music. Uh, so in this case, you'll see on the right hand side, there's a play button. So as I hit this, it plays the music. As I hit the button again, it stops the music. Uh, I can hit the up right hand button right there to skip the track. Uh, and you can see now it's skip the track to feral roots. Uh, I hit pause. And the bottom, you see how much time is remaining on this particular song. Uh, so five minutes and 51 seconds. Uh, and there's a little progress bar there. So if I move this over like halfway through the song, you'll see right there it went ahead and skipped uh, quite a ways into it. On the top line, you have the name of the app, Spotify. On the middle line, you have the name of the song. And on the bottom line, you have the name of the artist. The last thing you can do is to change the volume. To do that, you're gonna hold the bottom two buttons at the same time. So just like this, and then you have these controls for increasing volume uh, and decrease. And you can see on my phone, it's increasing the volume and go back down again, it is decreasing the volume. I can escape out of that by pressing the slower left hand button there. Uh, the 322 is the time of day right now. So it's 322 PM. Uh, and again, the counter at the bottom counting down how much time is left in the song. In fact, we can actually control this entirely from the lock screen if we want to. Uh, so you'll see on this side, I can press play. And over here, it shows it when to play. And I can hit pause and it shows it's paused. And that's it. This is your quick tip. That's as simple as it gets. There's really not much else to say about it. I'd say like, this works. It's music control. I mean, these are available on almost every wearable out there. This is like a check the box sort of thing Wahoo had to do uh, on their journey of getting this watch to become more of a competitor in this space. Uh, one other tidbit though from today's release, or actually this last past week's release, uh, as I said that the next release, the next firmware update, will be adding a Training Peaks structural workout control. And that's pretty notable because that's the first time there'll be any structural workouts at all on the Wahoo Rival. It's something they've had on their Element and their Bolt series, uh, Rome series, for a long, long time, uh, but this is something the first time that we'll see it on their watch itself. And that's a pretty big thing, and I'll definitely dive into that once it's released, and hopefully that's very shortly here. With that, if you found this video interesting, whack that like button at the bottom there, or hit subscribe for plenty more sports technology goodness. Have a good one.